Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is Emmanuel. It is something you establish in your heart. Samuel, how long do you still want to mourn or cry about Saul? Ni kwa muda gani utataka kuendelea kulia juu ya Sauli? I've rejected him. Mimi nimemkataa. I'm finished with him. Huyo nimeshamalizana naye. Take oil. Chukua mafuta. Go to the place what I will tell you. Alafu uende mahali ambapo nitakwambia. Why I'm saying this? Kwa nini nasema hii? The message is actually ujumbe hasa that we need to be very careful ni kwamba tunahitaji kuwa waangalifu sana not to become uh, what is the word i would use uh, uh, happy and uh, satisfied and the status quo yani tusiwe waangalifu sana tusiwe watu ambao tunafurahia na kuridhika na hali halisi ilivyo you see God wants us to move on. Unajua Mungu anataka tuendelee mbele. But it is so easy to become happy with the status quo. Lakini ni rahisi sana kuzoea na kufurahiwa na hadhi ulionayo wakati huo. We can even call it traditionalism. Tunaweza hata tukaita ni swala la desturi ya a church like this. Kaa kwenye kanisa kama hivi. It can be very easy. Inaweza kuwa ni rahisi sana. To say are we enjoying church. Kusema ah hapa tunafurahia sana. That's why we can ndio maana tunakuja kanisa tunafurahia tunachokifanya but god did not just call us to enjoy church lakini mungu hakutuita tu tufurahie kuwa kanisani god called us to be church mungu ametuita tuwe kanisa you see that's the problem with so many places in this world churches sasa hilo ndio tatizo la mahali pengi sana katika ulimwengu huu kwa mali ya makanisa we become very cut Tunafanyika kuwa watu wa mila sana na desturi. Cultural means the habit of doing the same things over and over. Mila maana yake ni ile tabia ya kufanya kitu kile kile kwa kurudia na kurudia. Hello. Hello. So God says. Kwa Mungu anasema. We need to move on. Tunahitaji kwenda mbele. And I will share this morning something with you. Nami nitashirikiana nanyi asubuhi ya leo kitu pamoja nanyi. I believe Ninaamini it's been preached already from here. Kwamba tayari kimeshawahi kuhubiriwa kutoka hapa madhabahu. I believe much of that what I'm going to say. Ninaamini mengi ya yale ambayo nitakwenda kuyasema. I know, I know. Najua. It's already mentioned. Tayari ameshatajwa hapa. But sometimes you have to hear it again from somebody else. Lakini mara nyingine inabidi usikie tena kutoka kwa mtu mwingine. Who's never been here. Ambaye hajawahi kuwa hapa. All of a sudden I realized when I sat there. Na ghafla nikakumbuka tambua kwamba nilipokuwa nimeketi pale. Even if we even if we shout this is the harvest year. Hata kama tutapiga kelele kwamba huu ni mwaka wa mavuno. And it's so easy that we will say that the whole year and nothing happens. Na ni rahisi sana tutarudia huo usemi mwaka mzima na hamna kitakachotokea. Hello. Hello. We have to move on. Lazima twende mbele. Moja kwa moja straight forward straight forward moja kwa moja Moses made one mistake Musa alifanya kosa moja when the people were rejoicing and shouting hallelujah amen wakati watu walipokuwa wakifurahia na kuimba hallelujah was, was uh, playing the guitars and the tambourines na wanapiga mazumari because na now they were all happy kwa sababu sasa wote walikuwa na furaha we are leaving Egypt tunaondoka Misri But then all of a sudden right in front there was a red sea. Lakini ghafla mbele yao kukaa na bahari ya Sham. And then somebody made a mistake. Alafu mtu mmoja akafanya makosa. Look backwards. Akageuka nyuma. And they saw all the dust clouds. The dust cloud, the clouds of dust. Na lile vumbi kubwa la mawingu. And they realized he said, "Hey, look backwards." Na akatambua akamwambia watu, "Hebu angalieni huko nyuma." The problem sometimes is we tend to look backwards. Tatizo mara nyingine tunapojaribu kuangalia nyuma. And they said there is an army. 
Na wakaona kuna jeshi. Ndasi si. Na huko kuna bahari. Now Moses. Sasa Musa. You are a devil. Akasema sasa wewe. You took us out of Egypt. Ni mtu mbaya umetutoa. You see the moment when leadership wants to do something. Unajua mara uongozi unapotaka kufanya kitu. And it will cost something. Na itagarimu kitu. And we endure hardship. Na sisi tuvumilie magumu. We go through some issue. Au tunapitia mavitu fulani. We blame the one. Tunaanza kulaumu. Then Moses said, "Okay." Asa Musa akasema, "Sawa." Stand still. Ebu simama. You know what? Unajua nini? That God did not want them to stand still. Mungu hakutaka wasimame wima. Hello, you can check that scripture. Unaweza kuangalia ile andiko. Even if he said, "I'm going to show you what God can do." Hata kama inasema nitawaonyesha kile ambacho Mungu anataka kufanya. Lakini Mungu alisema, "Nendeni mbele." Never mind the seas. Wala msijali hiyo bahari. Never mind whatever happens in our life. Wala usijali kinachotokea maisha yako. Don't stop. Usisimame wewe. Move on. Nenda mbele. I was thinking about something else. Nikao nafikiria kuhusu kitu kingine. I come to the message. Bado sijafika kwenye ujumbe. I realized that God when he created the world. Nikatambua kwamba Mungu alipoumba ulimwengu started with the natural ilianza na vitu vya asili so it was not the spiritual kwayo haikuwa kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho it was the natural ilikuwa kwenye hali ya asili he created the heavens akaumba mbingu and the sea akaumba bahari and the light akaumba na nuru and the plants samaki na mimea you know that wewe unafahamu hiyo it's the natural ni mambo tu ya kawaida ya asili But then he formed lakini baadaye akaumba out of the dust of the earth kutoka kwenye vumbi la dunia and other words he was working with clay kwa maneno mengine alikuwa akifinyanga forming a, 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 a human being as Aki, we know it today akimtengeneza mwanadamu kama tunavyomjua leo then he went and put his spirit in it alafu akaenda akaweka roho yake ndani yake the first creation was created and his name was adam na umbaji wa kwanza ukaumbwa na jina lake alikuwa kitu adam Right? Where did the woman come from? Sasa mwanamke alitoka wapi? Where? Wapi? On the side, ha? Kutoka kwenye mbavu, si ndio, pembeni. Was taken here. Alitolewa huku bavuni. I was thinking about that. I never planned to say it, but while I sat there and we had holy communion and he mentioned that the Jesus became a nothing so that we can become everything mimi nilikuwa nimekaa pale wala sikupanga kusema haya na kama alivyoelea na kama alivyosema Yesu alifanyika kuwa sio kitu yes before he died the soldier came he wanted to make sure he's dead na alipokuwa pale msalabani askari akaja na mkuki kuhakikisha kwamba Yesu alikufa he put his spear in the what kwa hiyo akamchoma mkuki wapi in the sight ubavuni What happened? Nini kilichotokea? What happened? Nini ilitokea? Water and blood came. Maji na damu vikatoka. You know what happened? Unajua kilichotokea? The church of Jesus Christ was born. The what? The church of Jesus. Kanisa la Yesu Christ. Christ. Jesus not Jesus. Jesus Christ was born. Kanisa la Yesu Kristo lilizaliwa. Lilizaliwa. And we became na sisi tukafanyika the bright of christ ni nuru ya bibi harusi wa kristo so that's why you read right through the scripture na ndio maana unasoma katika maandiko yote the church is not addressed as he kanisa hali 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 pewi jina kama it's addressed as she bali linapewa jina kama upande wa kristo because we are the bright kwa sababu wao ni bibi harusi hello Hello. We are the bright of Christ. Sisi ndio bi harusi wa Kristo. Start seeing yourself as a bright. Anza kujiona wewe kama bi harusi. And you are preparing yourself. Na unajiandaa. Because one day you need to meet the groom. Kwa sababu siku moja inabidi ukutane na bwana harusi. You prepare yourself to meet the groom. Unajiandaa kukutana na bwana harusi. You know what? Unajua nini? It's not just having church on a Sunday. Sio tu kuwa na ibada ya kanisa Jumapili. Many of you might not be here in two years time. Wengi wenu naezekana msiwepo hapa miaka mingi. Naweza mkoa mahali pengine. I have seen many started well but not finishing well. Nimeona wengi walipoanzia sipo walipomaliza. The issue is not hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The issue is keep on keeping on. Swala sio hallelujah bwana asifiwe. Swala ni watu kuendelea mbele. Endelea mbele. It's about finishing. It's about meeting the groom. Ni kuhusu kumaliza, ni kuhusu kukutana na bwana harusi. 
See, that's, that's the key. Hilo ndiyo swala. You know, I have a word, I, I have a slogan and I think the pastor has heard that already 20 times from me. Ah, mimi nao usemi na nafikiri mchungaji amesikia kutoka kwangu mara kadhaa. He created us, huh? He created us. Alituumba. Now, this is the message. Sasa huu ndio ujumbe. What purpose is why you were born? While purpose is while you were born. Wakati madhumuni ni pale ambapo wewe ulizaliwa au kwa nini ulizaliwa? Hey, hey. You're not an accident. Haukuzaliwa kwa bahati mbaya. It's not because your father slept with your mother. Sio kwa sababu baba yako alilala na mama yako. You were planned. Wewe ulikuwa katika mpango wa Mungu. You were planned. Ulikuwa katika mpango wa Mungu. Never mind if you look ugly. Haijalishi hata kama unaonekana unatisha au mzuri. Never mind if you got nice or nothing. Wala usijali kama una maziwa au una kitu. Never mind your color. Wala usijali rangi yako. I am here. Niko hapa. Because he had a plan. Kwa sababu alikuwa na mpango kwa ajili yangu. A plan. Alipanga kabisa kuwepo kwangu. And the plan is not just hallelujah praise the Lord. It's not just praising the Lord. Aha, na mpango sio tu kuruka ruka na kusema Bwana asifiwe. Yes. Na una dance kabisa hivi. It's not wrong. Sio hiyo. It's not wrong. Yaani hapo sio kama ndio kila kitu. That's true. Na ndi kweli. Many people have have has been saved. What wengi wameokoka. They, they got through and they received salvation grace. Wakapita na kupokea neema ya wokovu. But the message is not salvation. Lakini ujumbe sio wokovu. The message is Ujumbe ni entering the kingdom. Ingia kwenye ufalme. Accessing the kingdom. Na uendelee katika ufalme. Moving into it. Endelea na ufalme. Hello. Hello. Now sasa You see why if you if you don't know why you are here for Unajua kama hujui sababu ya kuwepo kwako If you don't understand why you are here for Kama huelewi kwa nini uko hapa You are actually unchanged Maana yake basi wewe ni mtu ambaye unchanged unchanged Ni mtu ambaye hujabadilishwa You are not changed Hujabadilishwa Hello Hello You see because what purpose is why you were born? Uh, kwa sababu dhumuni ni kwa nini ulizaliwa? Vision is when you start seeing it yourself. Sasa maono ni pale utakapoanza kuona wewe mwenyewe. Hello. Hello. So you if you if you understand why you're here for. Kwa kama utaelewa kwa nini uko hapa? You will have a vision. Basi utakuwa na maono. And if we talk This year is going to be the year of the harvest. Na kama tunaongea kwamba mwaka huu utakuwa ni mwaka wa mavuno. You have to have a vision. Lazima uwe na maono. If you want a vision, na kama unataka maono, you have to know why I'm here for. Lazima ujue kwa nini uko hapa. Why I'm part of the family of God. Kwa nini mimi ni sehemu ya familia ya Mungu? This week I had a couple of sons from Kenya and Tanzania together here in Arusha. Wiki hii nina baadhi ya wanangu kutoka Kenya na Tanzania pamoja hapa Arusha. And maybe we need to maybe I need to say something you don't or maybe appreciate very well. Labda nahitaji kusema kitu ambacho ukijui ambacho pia utakifurahia. But we need to stop seeing ourselves as church. Tunahitaji kuacha sasa kujiona sisi wenyewe kama kanisa. We need to start seeing ourselves as part of a family. Lakini tunahitaji kuanza kujiona sisi wenyewe kuwa ni sehemu ya familia. This is the family of God. Hii ni familia ya Mungu. The bride of Christ in preparation. Ni harusi kwa Kristo aliye katika maandalizi. Nobody says amen, is that okay? Amna mtu yote anasema amina. Hivi ni sawa hiyo? You don't need to say amen. Well, sio lazima useme amina. But I want you to understand. Lakini nataka uelewe tu. We are the family. Kwamba sisi ni familia. We are family. Sisi ni familia. Never mind if we differ. Wala usijali tulivyo. But we are family. Lakini sisi ni familia. Say to the person next year, I'm family. Mwambie jirani yako mimi ni familia. We are family. Say it. we are family. Tu familia. Sema. And then and then and then you say to the other person on the other side, 
I'm the bride of Christ. Alafu mwambie mtu mwingine upande mwingine kwamba mimi ni bia harusi wa Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry. Praise his holy name. Jina lake takatifu libarikiwe. Sikiliza hii. Listen to this. Sikiliza hii. I am excited. Mimi ninasisimka about the time where we are living in. Kuhusiana na nyakati ambapo tunaishi sasa. Many of us do not understand. Wengi wetu hatuelewi. This is a very yeah, what must I say? A very uh, precious but, 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 yeah, what must I say? The word it's a special time. Uh, huu ni wakati maalum sana. A time which was never there in history. Wakati ambao haujawahi kuwapo katika historia. May I maybe use the word season. Naweza kutumia neno majira. We are in a season. Tuko katika majira. Sikiliza, we are in a season. Listen, tuko kwenye majira. What never happened in the past. Ambayo haijawahi kutokea huko nyuma. A season. Majira where we are going to decide ambapo tunakwenda kuamua or where the foundations will be laid au pale ambapo misingi iliwekwa and be prepared na kuandaliwa so that God can do the finishing work ili Mungu aweze kufanya kazi ya kumalizia hello hello the finishing work kazi ya kumalizia you see he can not come unajua hawezi kuja you know all of no. some of our traditional all the people we used to believe and we are going to be raptured ah uh, wengi tunaamini kwamba tutanyakuliwa haleluya amen sama handla sama handla but the bible says clearly lakini biblia inasema wazi katika waibrahim and met you and other places na katika mataya na maeneo mengine he will only come atakuja tu when the world is made a footstool for his feet wakati ulimwengu utakapokuwa umetengeneza mahali pa yeye kuweka miguu yake so what does that say i have to challenge you kwa hiyo lazima nikutie wewe changamoto now I believe listen to this what Psalm 102 verse 18 says. This will be written for the generations to come. That a people yet to be created. Will praise the Lord. Now, look at this little boy. Look at this little boy. Can you see him? Unaweza kumuona huyu mtoto? Left him up. Hebu mnyanyue juu. Left them up that people see the little boy. Mnyanyue huyu kwa mdogo hapo. Can you see that boy? Si unamuona alivyo huyu? Hello, can you see? Unaweza kumuona huyu? I don't know the age, maybe one year. Sijui labda ana miaka miwili. How old is the baby? Huyu ana miaka mingapi? Eh? Mitatu, 3. 3 already. Sawa, mitatu. Listen what I'm saying to you. Sikiliza ninachokuambia. When this child wakati huyu mtoto gets married atakapooa his children watoto wake or her children au watoto wake upande mwingine wa kike wa kiume babies to be born bado kuna watoto wa kuzaliwa and out of those babies na kutoka katika wale watoto na wakati kama jina hapo these younger little boys and girls wakati hawa vijana wadogo wa kiume out of them will come a new generation kutoka kwao kitatoka kizazi kipya who could be the generation ambao wanaweza kuwa katika kizazi who will do the finishing work ambao hao ndio watafanya kazi ya kumalizia So we look for another 40 years. Kwa tunaangalia miaka mingine 40. But here is the here is the thing. Here is the point. Lakini hapa ndipo pana kitu. Can you see the responsibility? Unaweza ukaona majukumu. We have to make sure that these young girls as one is walking there. Ambayo tunayo ambayo tunatakiwa kuhakikisha. The baby is going to be born. Hao watoto wadogo kwamba kuna mtoto atazaliwa. They know the father the son. 
kwamba watamjua baba that they know Christ kwamba watamjua Kristo that they are full of his presence na kwamba wamejaa na uwepo wake hello hello he said this is a responsibility hili ni jukumu there is an awesome responsibility ni jukumu la ajabu otherwise it will take another 80 years sijui kama itachukua miaka mingine 80 but somewhere there is a generation lakini mahali fulani kuna kizazi who will do the finishing work ambao watafanya kazi ya generation yet to be born kizazi ambacho bado hakijazaliwa but some of us lakini baadhi yetu who love the lord ambao tunampenda bwana who have a relationship with god ambao tuna uhusiano na mungu who know god ambao tunamfahamu mungu they are responsible wao wana majukumu millions of christians in africa millions of christians in africa millions and millions and millions ma milioni kwa milioni yet we kill one another lakini bado tunaoana sisi sisi yet there is tribalism lakini bado kuna maswala yet there is corruption bado kuna ufisadi yet there is hunger bado kuna njaa but we praise the lord lakini tunamsifu bwana tunakatika kabisa what does that say hiyo inasema nini can you see where we are unaweza kuona tulipo we have christians tunao wa kristo yes ndio we have christians tunao wa kristo who know maybe church ambao pengine wanalijua kanisa wanaweza kuja kanisani but have no relationship lakini wana uhusiano hello hello you see we can only transfer tunaweza tu kuhamisha what we are jinsi sisi tulivyo but praise god lakini even this morning hata asubuhi holy communion baada ya meza ya bwana if i'm not what i should be kama sivyo ambavyo napaswa kuwa we can still become bado tunaweza kufanyika so maybe i need to say pengine nahitaji kusema we will transfer tulihamishwa what we become vile ambavyo ndivyo tunatakiwa kuwa so there is a challenge kwa hiyo kuna changamoto hapa the challenge is not having a crusade sorry the challenge is not having a crusade changamoto sio kuwa na mkutano the challenge is not having giving out tracts wala sio kugawa vipeperushi the challenge changamoto ni to live a life kuishi maisha hello hello to live a life in such a manner kuishi maisha katika mtindo ambao people will be attracted watu watavutwa because people in this world kwa sababu watu katika ulimwengu even in Tanzania hata hapa Tanzania look at on the markets and the streets where they all go angalia huko kwenye masoko mtaani wote wanamwelekea the one sells tomatoes wale wanauza nyanya the other sells oranges na wanauza machungwa the other try to sell a fat kuku wengine wanauza kuku Everybody tries to survive. Kila mtu anajaribu kuendelea. Everybody is moving. Kila mtu anaendelea. But look at the faces. Lakini angalia nyuso zao. They're tired. Wamechoka. People without God. Watu wasio na Mungu. Without assurance. Hawana uhakika. It's no good to say hallelujah amen. Sio vizuri kusema tu hallelujah amen. I know I know what I am and who I am. Lakini swala ni kwamba ninajua ninajua mimi ni nani. Whatever happens doesn't bother me because I know I know I know. Haijalishi kinachotokea lakini subui kwa sababu najua nachokijua. Is that spirit in you? Je, hiyo roho iko ndani mwako? That's what you transfer. Ndicho ambacho utakachokihamisha. Hello? Hello? And that's what people want. Na ndicho ambacho watu wanakitaka. We don't need any more services and come to the so that we can heal you. Hatuhitaji ibara nyingine zaidi ya watu kuja hapa mbele ili uponyeke. You will walk next to people. Yo? You will walk next to people. Utafanya ukutembea karibu na watu. You will talk to people. Utaongea na watu. And people na watu experience wanapitia healing kupata uponyaji hello hello because what is in you kwa sababu ya kilicho ndani yako will be transferred kitahamishika the power nguvu the glory utukufu it's happening it started already happening inatokea inatokea hello hello so there's a challenge kwa hiyo kuna changamoto hapa it's the same as glory kama vile utukufu The glory has to come. Utukufu lazima uje in you. Ndani mwako. Through you. Kupitia wewe. Transfer. Na uhamishwe. The glory doesn't just fall out of heaven. Utukufu sio unadondoka tu kutoka mbinguni. The glory doesn't just fall out of heaven. Hauji tu kutoka mbinguni. 
It has to be lazima uwe through you kupitia wewe Christ Christo the hope tumaini of glory la utukufu the glory in me yani manake utukufu ndani yangu that's why it's so in I was thinking about it this morning I'm still not there bado sijaingia kwenye neno hapo you know this holy this holy communion table he meza ya ibada takatifu the power ya ushirika mtakatifu the power nguvu is not in the table haiko kwenye meza you know that i come from a culture unajua mimi natoka kwenye mimi a denomination au katika the heaven where we nobody could touch the table ambapo hakuna mtu yote angeweza kusogelea kugusa meza It's a holy table. Ni meza takatifu. Praise God we don't have holy tables. Bwana asifiwe. We have holy hatuna, people. Hatuna meza takatifu bali tuna watu watakatifu. But this table. Lakini meza hii. This table. Meza hii. When we start serving. Mtu anapoanza kuwahudumia watu. It speaks of grace. Inazungumza kuhusu neema. You know? I used to believe Unajua nilikuwa nikiamini and I grew up in a traditional Pentecostal church Nilikuwa katika kanisa la Kipentecostal la wakati ule where we had holy communion ambapo tulikuwa na ibada ya mwezi wa mara moja kwa mwezi Nobody comes to church but when it is holy communion day they all come Hamna mtu anakuja kanisani lakini ikiwa siku ya meza ya Bwana kila mtu anakuja It's nowhere written in the Bible once a month It's nowhere written in the Bible once a man. You can have holy communion 16 times a day. Kwamba ni mara 16 kwa siku You and your wife can have holy communion. Wewe na mke wako wanaweza kuwa na holy communion. You can have holy communion. When you are sick, have holy communion. When you face when, when you face opposition and suffering, break bread. Unapopata changamoto na mateso, because there is grace in the table. Kwa sababu tuna Kristo kwenye meza. There's grace in the table. Kuna neema kwenye meza. Hello. Hallelujah. Can you understand? Unaweza kuelewa why it's important? Kwa nini ni muhimu even to stay hata kukaa close to the pastor? Karibu na mchungaji. Or to his mama or to one of the other pastors. Au karibu na mchungaji yoyote hapo. Or to any man au kwa mtu yoyote who is full of the presence of God. Ambaye amejawa na uwepo wa Mungu. Because he releases grace. Kwa sababu anaachilia neema. Hello. Hello. You see unaona we need to wrap ourselves ina tunahitaji kusuguana sisi close tukae karibu to man tukae karibu who release the grace kwa watu ambao wanaachilia neema ya Kristo that's why i've been speaking in the past two years i only started ndio maana kwa miaka miwili iliyopita nimekuwa nikizungumza ndio kwanza nimeanza no na mchungaji john anajua I believe in fathering. Ninaamini mimi ninakuwa kama baba. We have many pastors. Tunao wachungaji wengi. We have many archbishops. Tunao maaskofu wakuu wengi. We have bishops. Tuna maaskofu. We have teachers. Tuna waalimu. And apostles. Na mitume. But no fathers. Lakini hakuna wababa. We need a father. Tunahitaji baba. Hello. Hello. In God, in God there's no gender. Katika Mungu hakuna jinsia. Mama Chris, she's a father. Mama Chris yeye ni baba. There's no gender in God. Hakuna maswala ya jinsia. You know what? Unajua nini? I think more women. Mimi nafikiri zaidi kwa wanawake have a father spirit than men. Wanakuwa na roho ya baba zaidi ya wanaume. You see listen to this Tikaliza listen to this husbands waume make children wanapata watoto yeah they make they know but fathers lakini wakina baba grow children wao huwa wanalea au wanakuza watoto you see umeona hiyo we need to become a son lazima tufanyike wana 
We need to become a son in this house. Lazima tufanyike wana katika nyumba hii. In this house we need to have sons. Katika nyumba hii lazima tuwe na wana. It will take time. Itachukua muda. You are maybe at this stage a son to be. But we need sons. Tunahitaji wana ingawa itachukua muda. When we have sons. Tunapokuwa na wana. Surely. Hakika. A harvest will be coming. Mavuno yatakuja. We need sons. Tunahitaji wana. My wife mke wangu spoke the yesterday before yesterday alizungumza juzi to all these sons of us we have about 40 sons kwa hao wana wetu wote here in Tanzania and Kenya i only do 40 not more na Kenya wako 40 2020 and my wife said sasa tumesema most of the churches mengi ya makanisa even if they are small hata kama ni madogo I was in a church which got 22 20,000 members nilikuwa kwenye kanisa half ago nilishika kama 25 hivi most of these churches kama mwezi uliopita mengi ya makanisa haya sikiliza listen are full of orphans yamejawa na yatima you know orphan spirit isn't that si unajua roho ya yatima iko hapo ndani mi 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 Mimi 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 fight for survival. Yaani watu wanakipigana ili waweze kuendelea kuwepo wajulikane. Fight to become popular while I'm nothing. Jitahidi wawe watu maarufu. Because the problem is that no tatizo kwa sababu hakuna wababa. And he you will understand. Sasa hapa najua utaelewa. When Adam and Eve failed. Wakati Adam na Hawa walipokosea. So they had a father. Wao walikuwa na baba. They knew their father. Walimjua baba. They walked yao. together. They spoke pamoja. together. Waliongea pamoja. They became orphans. Wakafanyika kuwa yatima. Hello. They became orphans. Wakawa yatima. And you know what? We never the Old Testament period. God always wanted to restore this. Mara zote Mungu alitaka kurejesha hii. And that is why he had to come down. Na ndio maana ilibidi aje. You need to study this. You need to read some of the books you can buy here. Unahitaji kusoma haya baadhi ya vitabu If you can get it, don't read any other book. Read only the book they have. Miles Monroe. Kama uwezi kusoma kitabu kingine chochote. Read the Discover the Kingdom book number 1. Soma kitabu cha Miles Monroe walichonacho. When I give you my wife's book. Nitawapa kitabu cha mke wangu. Nobody can read it because it's full of marks. Hamna mtu anaweza kusoma saa imejaa maandiko mengi. It has red highlighters, yellow highlighters. Oh, it's Kuna terrible. kila rangi huko. Terrible. Akipendezi sana. Because you should not read this. Kwa sababu you should study it. Usisome tu bali jifunze. Hello. Hello. Jifunze. Jifunze. Jifunze study it jifunze don't read it usisome study it. it jifunze if it took that man 40 years kama ilimchukua mtu yule miaka 40 people sing about the kingdom watu wanaongea kusufame at the kingdom watu wachungaji wanaongea kusufame yet they do not understand the kingdom lakini bado hawaelewi ufalme they do not know the kingdom hawajui ufalme jesus only mentioned once you must be saved yes wali taja mara moja The message in the New Testament is not salvation. Ujumbe katika agano jipya sio wokovu. Prove to me it's a salvation. Nithibitishie kama ni wokovu. The good news is not salvation. Habari njema sio wokovu. The good news the kingdom. Habari njema ni za ufalme. Hello. Hello. The kingdom. Ufalme. But Mungu you have to go through the door. Lakini lazima upitie mlangoni. The door is Jesus. Na mlango ni Yesu. The door is salvation. Mlango wa wokovu. You must be saved. Lazima uokolewe. That is the entrance. Hapo ndio pa kuingilia. That is the price you pay. Hapo ndio unapoingilia. To get in. Gharama unayolipa ni kuingilia. But the problem is. Na kitatizo. You stay there. If this is the door. Kama huu ndio mlango. Yes, hallelujah. Hapo unasema ndio hallelujah. And they are in. Alafu unafika hapa juu. But they are still standing in the door. Alafu unasimama tu mlangoni. Unaendelea kusema haleluya ukiwa mlangoni. Lakini Mungu atakufakia hapo. Anataka uuke. Alafu uingie ndani. It's not salvation grace. It's dominion grace. It's weak. Sio wokovu ni utawala, ni kutawala. This is our problem. 
let us be very honest and most people are products na watu wengi ni matokeo of previous leadership ya uongozi uliopita or present leadership au uongozi wa sasa this is the season haya ni majira this is the season haya ni majira where we need to get an alignment ambapo inabidi sasa tuyaweke mambo sawia we have to come in alignment lazima tuje katika mstari you know alignment unajua kuweka vitu kwenye mstari Tomorrow when you walk in town kesho ukitembea mjini look at some cars angalia baadhi ya magari look at the car usiangalie gari look at the tires angalia matairi some of the tires are have still ra- rubber the other has no more rubber utaona mengine bado yako vizuri mengine yamekwisha some have some threat in the middle of the tire mengine Um, katikati ya tairi kuna sehemu ambayo haitakaa vizuri. Yeah. Some on the left, some have rubber on the right. Mengine upande wa kushoto yako vizuri, upande wa kushoto. You know why? Unajua kwa nini? The wheels are not in alignment. Kwa sababu matairi hayajanyooshwa, yanacheza cheza hivi. That is why I put my car every 10,000 kilometers I put in alignment. Ndio maana gari langu kila baada ya kilomita 1000 inanyoosha matairi. The other day 87000 kilometers before I changed the tire. Ndio maana gari langu likifika kilomita 7000 nabadilisha matairi. We as men and women of God. Sisi kama wanawake na wanaume wa Mungu. Men and women who belong to this family wanawake na wanaume walio katika Who also shout 2012 harvest na ambao pia tunapiga kelele kusema 2012 ni mwaka wa mavuno but for the harvest to come in lakini mavuno ili aingie there must be a place where the harvest can be stored lazima kuwa na sehemu ambapo mavuno yataweza kuhifadhiwa the issue is not growing from outside to inside it's from inside to outside swala sio kutoa nje kuingiza ndani ni kutoa ndani kwenda nje we need to come in alignment lazima in alignment lazima tunyoshe lazima tunyoshe lazima tunyoshe we need to get back to the truth lazima turudi kwenye kweli we need to get back to the word of god lazima turudi kwenye neno la mungu we need to get back and allow leadership or yourself take time for maturity lazima turudi na uchukue muda kwa ajili ya kukomaa you know you are tanzanians unajua nyinyi ni wa tanzania and everybody in this world na kila mtu katika ulimwengu huu only know many 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 people in america don't even know where is tanzania wanajua tu na watu wengi kule marekani hawajua hata tanzania iko wapi ask them they know But when you speak about migration lakini unapoongea kuhusu kuhamia yeah ah sawa that's where sawa sawa that's where all the wild beast and everything moves start pale ndipo wakati ambapo wanyama wote wanaanza kuhama kwenda sehemu nyingine kwa sababu ya majira listen you know migration unajua kuhama kwa wanyama many start pale inapoanzia never get there hawafiki kule wanakwenda because the kwa sababu simba wanaoamua kama simba atakula basi mamba watakula or they get stampede stampede to wanakanyagana kwa sababu wanakuwa hello, wengi sana hello kufa. you got it umeelewa hiyo they migrate wanaondoka kuhama why kwa nini they go to the green grass wanaenda kutafuta majani ya kijani and they give birth alafu kule wanazana Do they catch that one? Meipata hiyo kwamba wanahama kutafuta majani ya kijani na wanazaana. They give birth. Wanazaa to new life. Wanazaa uzima mpya. Listen. Sikiliza. I got it this morning. I write so much always that I don't know. Listen to this. Sikiliza hii. I want you to listen carefully. Nataka usikilize vizuri. Say yes, I listen. Sema ndio nasikiliza. Migration kuhama is moving ni kuondoka from one location kutoka kwenye eneo moja to another kwenda kwenye eneo jingine you know the other day i was reading an article unajua siku nyingine nilikuwa nikisoma you you cannot makana. see it hauwezi kuona i never knew it's an africans lakini imeandikwa kwa kilugha ya kiafrikaans i never knew sikuwahi kujua you know the little fish you know we call sardines unafahamu wale samaki tunaita daga every year in july august kila mwaka mwezi huu wa july na august billions 
tens of billions not millions billions of little sardines mabilioni kwa mabilioni wale dagao wadogo sardines they move from the southern part down south wanatoka kutoka kusini all along to the northern part wanaenda mpaka kaskazini of africa mwa africa and those oceans where the warm waters are na kule ndiko kuna maji ambayo ni ya vuguvugu but they followed by sharks lakini wanafuatwa na samaki wakubwa they are followed by by why uh, uh, eat uh, uh, dangerous whales na wanafuatwa na nyangumi wa hatari they eat them they eat them they eat them wanawala njiani they move lakini wanaendelea mbele why kwa nini they want to give birth wanataka kwenda kuzaa and come back alafu warudi tena Hello. Hello. But then I was reading. Lakini nikaona nasoma. There is a certain whale. Kwamba kuna aina fulani. They call them Hansback whale. Somebody was a samaki mkubwa anaitwa Hansback. Hansback whale. Hansback. Those fishes are as long as from there to there. Ambaye ni kama nyangumi ambaye ni mrefu kutoka hapo mpaka kule. Listen to this. Sikiliza. They say. Wanasema They swim 8000 km. Wanaogelea kilomita 1800 to mate ili waweze kukutana kwa ajili ya kupata watu kuzaa and give birth. Alafu wanazaa. They swim from the southern parts of Africa deep in the ocean. Wanatoka upande wa kusini wa Afrika huko ndani. Wanaogelea kilomita 1800 to give to mate and to give birth to new life. Ili tu waweze kukutana kwa ajili ya kuzaa uzima mpya to give birth to new life waweze kuzaa uzima mpya cost a price cost something hiyo inagarimu kitu inagarimu kitu listen to this sikiliza hii listen to this my migration is moving from one location to another kwa hiyo tendo la kuhama manake ni kwamba unaondoka kutoka eneo moja kwenda eneo jingine spiritual migration involves movement to a spiritual position to a no position that pleases God and attracts his favor kuhama kwa kiroho kunajumuisha kuhama eh, kutoka katika nafasi moja ya kiroho kwenda kwenye nafasi mpya ambayo inampendeza Mungu na kuvuta upendeleo wake please say to the person next to you hebu mwambie jirani yako wake up amka i don't want you to pray sitaki uniombe saa hizi Close your eyes and pray. Funga macho yako na uombe. Migrating. Kuhama. To a position. Ni kwenda kwenye nafasi. You. Mpya. Challenge this church. Katika kanisa hili. To migrate. Unatakiwa ulitie changamoto. To a position. Kuhama kwenye nafasi. Which pleases God. Ambayo inampendeza Mungu. Not pleases the pastor. Sio inampendeza mchungaji. Not pleases yourself. Sio inakupendeza wewe mwenyewe. Which pleases God. Lakini inampendeza Mungu. And such a manner that it attracts his favor. Katika jinsi ambayo itavuta upendeleo wake. Many people follow Jesus. Watu wengi wanamfuata Yesu. Not because of the miracles. Sio kwa sababu ya miujiza. Not because of the one fish or five fish turned and how many thousands of fish. Sio kwa sababu ya samaki. No 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 no. They follow Jesus. You know why? Unajua kwa nini? He had favor with the people. Kwa sababu alikuwa na upendeleo na watu. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Uko pale? Are you there? Uko pale? Say to the person next to you I'm here. Mwambie jirani yako nipo. Listen. Sikiliza. In order for us to grow. Ili tuweze kukua. To get a harvest. Kupata mavuno. You need favor. Wewe unahitaji upendeleo. Stop telling people you must be saved. Stop. Stop telling people you must be saved. You must Stop telling them you must be saved. Acha kuambia watu lazima uokoke. Stop preaching. Acha kuhubiri. Release. Bali achilia. Release. Achilia. Because then when you start saying something Kwa sababu baada ya hapo utakapoanza kusema kitu they will see that one Wao wataona lile neno in you ndani mwako you talk about unalolongea Hello Hello My brothers 
ndugu zangu my sisters na dada zangu forgive me if i say the wrong thing msamee kama nitasema jambo lisilo sawa there are so many churches and this yako makanisa mengi katika mji huu it's unbelievable unashindwa kuamini but if i send you for one hour and go into the town lakini kama nitakutuma wewe kwa saa moja uende mjini you see hundreds of thousands of people utaona maelfu ya watu they are not in church ambao hawako kanisani that doesn't mean you have to go to church i manish kwamba lazima uende kanisani there's no scripture which says you must go to church on sunday hakuna andiko litakalokuambia nenda kanisani kwa pili but what does it say lakini inasemaje many wengi many wengi in this town katika mji and in this region na katika eneo hili they know the church wanajua kanisa but they don't part of it lakini hawataki kuwa sehemu ya hilo kanisa and there's a reason why na kuna sababu kwa nini there's a reason iko sababu many people have been hurt watu wengi wameumizwa by same christians kwa wakristo hao na wakristo hao hao many people have been robbed by the same man who of christians watu wengi wameibiwa na watu wale wale ambao wanajiita wa they see the life they when they call themselves christians the people see how you live wanaona maisha yao wanajiita wao wa kristo watu wanaangalia jinsi unavyoishi i always say When you see a car with stickers on the back. Unapoona gari limewekwa sticker kule nyuma. Jesus is alive. Yes you hai. I am born again. Nimeokoka. Or you see a fish. Au unamwona samaki. I said don't look at the at the at 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 what? At that thing at the back at the Nina sticker. Nimesema usiangalie hiyo sticker hapo nyuma. They are not looking to that. Hawaangalii. Nobody looks at that. Hamna mtu anaangalia hiyo. Look inside the car. Angalia ndani ya gari. Kuna nini huko? Can you see the challenges? Unaweza kuziona hizo changamoto? My wife said three months ago. Uh, mke wangu alisema miezi miezi mitatu me, papa. Akasema baba, when we meet with the sons again. Tutakapokutana na wale wana wetu tena. We must forget about all the stuff we are teaching them lazima tusahau mambo yote tunayowafundisha but we must focus for two three days lakini lazima tuweke mtazamo wetu kwa siku mbili tatu kuhusu seek you first the kingdom kutafuta kwanza ufalme and his righteousness na haki yake you see it's not two separate things unajua hivi sio vitu viwili tofauti it's actually one thing ni jambo moja because kwa sababu it's about righteousness ni kuhusu haki it's no good to say sio vizuri kusema i am saved nimeokolewa i enter the kingdom naingia kwenye ufalme but there is no righteousness lakini hakuna haki hello hello in the early days katika zile siku za kale we wanted women to have a covering tulikuwa tunataka wanawake wote if they had no hat wafunike hivi inabidi waingie hivi kansani they came with ties wanakuja wamepiga ties they came with suits na masuti they walk very old alafu wanatembea kitakatifu holiness utakatifu has nothing to do with salvation hausiani na chochote kuhusu wokovu hello listen here sikiliza listen holiness has nothing to do if i drink one beer or eat pork meat Don't eat pork. Utakatifu usiana masuala. Mbusi katolika. Usile mbusi katoliki, usile holiness. Have you seen in utakatifu? Holiness is the outflow of righteousness. Ni matokeo ya haki. I am I'm 40 years in the ministry. Ah mimi nina miaka 40 katika huduma. 1st of September 40 years. Ikifika tarehe moja Septemba itafika miaka 40. Next month and 5 weeks time. 6 weeks time. Mwezi ujao na wiki sita zinazokuja. Me and mama are married 50 years. Wao watakuwa wameshaoana kwa miaka 50 sasa. 50 years. Miaka 50. I don't know how I did it, but I know how I did it. But even me. Lakini hata mimi. And the past years na miaka mitatu iliyopita i have learned more nimejifunza zaidi as in the past 37 years kama vile ambavyo miaka 37 iliyopita ukilinganisha miaka 37 iliyopita na miaka mitatu iliyopita nimejifunza zaidi kwenye miaka mitatu 
Sikha Lisa, listen. It's never too late to start all over again. It's never too late to start all over again. If you failed even last night. If you did the wrong thing. Even if you slept with a girlfriend. Come to the communion table. And before you eat. And before you drink, fix your life. And you receive grace. If we are not where we should be, remember the story of the prodigal son. When he came back, his father was also running towards him. And his father, and his father kissed him. Never mind where you are now. Come back. Rudy. The father is behind you. Baba yuko the father yuko. is next to you. Baba yuko He's in front of you. He, he wants to kiss you. He has not left you. Haja Even if you sent, God did not leave you. Nowhere you read that God left you. Amna Mungu but you have to come back. Lazima urudi. To him. Lazima urudi ye. Hello. Hello. You know? Unajua? That's grace. Hiyo ni neema. If I'm, if I'm 40 years in a ministry, that doesn't mean I was always a righteous man. Hiyo imaanishi mara zote nilikuwa mtu mwenye haki. Mtu mtakatifu. No, no. Hapana. I spoke the other day for more than an hour. Nilizungumza siku nyingine kwa zaidi ya saa moja. With the sons about my failures in ministry. I failed. Many a time. I did many things for God. I did many things for God. God never said. God is not interested in how much you do for God. Stop doing. Start being. Anza kuwa. Anza kufanyika. Only do what God says. Fanya tu kile ambacho Mungu anasema. Only do what he says. Fanya tu anachokisema. Not what somebody else says. Sio kile ambacho mwingine anasema. Only do what you know you can do. Fanya kile ambacho unajua unaweza kufanya. Hello? Hello? I failed. Nilishindwa mara nyingi. In my marriage I failed. Many a time. Katika ndoa yangu. Many a time. Mara nyingi. I wasn't always even if I was preaching on a Sunday morning, hey, I wasn't always that person my I had was supposed to be towards my wife. Hata kama nilikuwa naubiri Jumapili asubuhi sio mara zote nilikuwa ni yule mtu ambaye nilikuwa kwa mke wangu. Many so called men of God preach and stand behind the, behind the pulpit but their marriage life means nothing. Wengi wanaoitwa watu wa Mungu usimama na kuhubiri hapo kwenye madhabahu lakini maisha yao ya ndoa hayamaanishi chochote kwa. That is why there is no anointing. Na ndio maana hakuna upapo. That is why there is no power. Na ndio maana hakuna nguvu. I failed. Many a time. But guess what? Guess what? I'm still around. You see, because the grace of God. We need to get an a proper alignment. An a proper alignment. Let's get back. Let's get back to the place where God wants us to be. God planned for a victorious dynamic church. Yes. For too long. Christians were church growers. growers. You know what? A surprise. A surprise. If you have been listening and I think they preached about it. If you have bought the right books, forget about the other books. I thank God. I'm not a Christian. You're not? Oh, I'm not a Christian. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that I understand I'm not a Christian. I'm a son. 
Mimi ni mwana. You are a son. Wewe ni mwana. You are a son. Wewe ni mwana. Say to the person next to you you are a son. Mwambie jirani yako wewe ni mwana. You are a son. Wewe ni mwana. You are a son. Wewe ni mwana. Start operating like a son of God. Anza kuishi kama mwana wa Mungu. When you speak, let it be words of knowledge and wisdom. Na yawe maneno ya hekima na maarifa. The son speaks like that. Mwana uzungumza hivyo. But for many of us, lakini kwa wengi wetu, we need to grow into it. Tunahitaji kukua katika hilo. It's immaturity. Huko ni kutokukoma. Which kept people in the in the in the often spirit ndiko kulikuwaweka watu katika roho ya uyatima it's a spirit ni roho there is a often spirit ambayo ni roho ya uyatima the often spirit says i only come to receive roho ya uyatima inasema njoo tu upokee a often spirit said i only want what i want na roho ya uyatima inaongea tu kuhusu mimi a often spirit says i do what i want to do inasema ninafanya ninachotaka kukifanya a often spirit says no i will not give nyingine inasema i will not give sitatoa we need to grow lazima tukue it's true ni kweli some people have been baptized 30 years ago but they're still sucking here kuna watu wamebatizwa miaka 30 iliyopita ki bado wananyonya. If we want to make a difference. Kama tunataka kufanya tofauti we want to force. If we want the harvest. Kama tunataka kuvuna. To come in. Kuingia au mavuno yaingie. Doesn't start with the pastor. Aianzi kwa wachungaji. It doesn't start with a beautiful choir. Au kwa kwaya nzuri. It doesn't start with all the waving of the flags. Au aishi pale tu kwa ku It's not wrong. It's not wrong. Sio hivyo tu. Worship has nothing to do with singing. Kuabudu hakuhusiani na chochote kuhusu kuimba. Worship has to do with living. Lakini kuabudu kuna uhusiano na maisha yako. Living the life. Jinsi unavyoishi maisha. My brothers and sisters. Ndugu zangu. It's okay. Sawa. You can start. Unaweza kuanza. All over. Tena kabisa upo. Start living a life anza kuishi maisha start greeting people anza kuwasalimia watu start smiling at people anza kutabasamu kwa watu and you see your neighbor has, food, has no food on the table kula mezani but you got ugali and rice lakini wewe una ugali and kuku take some of that to your neighbor kuku hebu pelekee jirani and you don't need to pray salvation or jesus no 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 you skip the ugali and a piece of kuku that's all yes when pelekee ugali na kuku because if your motive is right kwa sababu if your motive is right if your motive is right the aroma of god will flow out of you ile harufu ya mungu itamiminika toka ndani mwako the aroma of god harufu ya mungu the aroma of god harufu nzuri ya mungu shirika tanda raba shata raba handa listen sikiliza Man in the beginning received a kingdom mandate. Watu kule mwanzo walipokea jukumu la kiufalme. And the mandate, you know what means a mandate? Unajua ni nini unapopewa jukumu? Something we must do. Kitu ambacho lazima ukifanye. Fill the earth and have dominion over it. Na jukumu ilikuwa ni kujaza ulimwengu na kuutawala. Filling the earth not with people and babies but filling the earth with God's splendor. Sio kujaza ulimwengu na watu na watoto bali kujaza ulimwengu na ukuu na wema wa Mungu. His goodness and his love and kindness is still the mandate of man. Wema wake na upendo wake bado ni jukumu la mwanadamu. Listen to this. Sikiliza hii. If the earth is going to be filled with the knowledge and the glory of God. Kama ulimwengu utajazwa na maarifa na utukufu wa Mungu. There has to be a people living in his presence and manifesting his glory. Lazima kuwe na watu wanaoishi katika uwepo wake na wakidhihirisha utukufu wake. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? Vipi mko sawa? Are you okay? Mko sawa? You know when I grew up as a Catholic When I grew up as a Catholic Nilipokuwa kama mkatoliki we believed in saints Tuliamini katika watakatifu Holy Saint Joseph Holy Agnes Holy Saint Martha Takatifu Yusufu Mtakatifu Martha 
There are many holy people. Wako watu wengi watakatifu. Even Mother Teresa. Hata Mama Teresa. The glory of God surely is not going to happen by opening heaven's doors and all these things come down. Hakika hautatokea kwa kufungua milango ya mbinguni na watakatifu wote hao kushuka. Welcome down. Hamna kitu kitateremka. Accept the glory the presence of God in your life. Isipokuwa utukufu na uwepo wa Mungu maishani mwako. Isaiah 40 verse 5. Isaiah 40 mstari wa 5. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all the flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. utaonekana na wote wenye mwili kwa pamoja watauona. Yes, Psalm 72 verse 19 and David says and blessed be his glorious name forever and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Mstari wa 12 unasema na atukuzwe Mungu baba yetu wa utukufu milele. Maana ulimwengu wote utajazwa na utukufu wake. We used to sing that song and have a cock. Have a cock. Kimba wimbo huo katika Habakkuk 2:14. Habakkuk 2:14. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge and the glory of the Lord as the waters cover it. Isaiah 42:43 verse 7 God says Isaiah 42 mstari wa 7 Mungu anasema Everyone who is called by my name kila aliyeitwa kwa jina langu whom i have created for my glory yule ambaye nimemuumba kwa ajili ya utukufu wangu i have formed him nimemuumba yes i have made him ndio nimemuumba you know what even at another place in isaiah unajua hata kuna sehemu nyingine kwa isaiah that god said tunasoma kwa mungu alisema Nothing will stop me for what I have spoken. Hakuna kitakachonizuia mimi kwa kile ambacho nimekitamka. Let me tell you. Ngoja nikwambie. The glory of God will increase. Utukufu wa Mungu utaongezeka. With you or without you? Uwepo au usiwepo? Hello? Yaani wewe. With you. Uwepo wewe or without you? Au wewe usiwepo? It you need to decide. Ni jambo la kuamua. Hello? Hello? Listen to this. Then I will close. Sikiliza hii alafu ninafunga. It's important for you. Hii ni muhimu kwako. Christ in you. Kristo ndani yako. Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. Wa Kolosai 1:27. Christ in us. Kristo ndani yetu. The hope of glory. Tumaini la utukufu. Christ in us. Kristo ndani yetu. The hope of glory. Tumaini la utukufu. What No, no, I want you to listen very careful. Stop looking at the Bible. Stop. Sasa hebu acha kuangalia Biblia yako. You can do that at home. Utafanya hiyo baada. I want you to hear now. Nataka usikilize. What means glory? Utukufu una maana nini? Glory means Utukufu una maanisha the supremacy of Christ. Ukuu wa kiungu wa Kristo. The attributes of Christ. Tabia ya kimungu ya Kristo. The assets of Christ. Vile alivyonavyo Kristo. In other words the fullness of Christ. Kwa maneno mengine ule utimilifu wa Kristo. Living and flowing through us. Ukiishi na kumiminika kupitia sisi. Can only be accomplished. Unaweza tu ukafikiwa. By living. Kwa kuishi. By living. Kwa kuishi. And remaining na kubaki in his presence katika uwepo wake and manifest his glory na kudhihirisha utukufu wake and reputation na kuendelea kurudia that's very powerful hiyo ina nguvu sana you see the apostle paul as a father unaona mtume paulo kama baba he was a father alikuwa ni baba he did not call himself apostle hakujiita mtume because apostle is the lowest of the ranks range the lowest ah kwa sababu mtume some people think if i have a title of apostle i am a bad ni kiwango cha chini mtu mwingine apostle means i'm a nothing mtume kwamba niko juu mtume maana i'm right here mimi niko chini sio kitu hello hello and then the highest rank as an alba alafu cheo cha juu kabisa kama mzee kiongozi the church was was operated by an alda kanisa likuwa likiongozwa na wazee the church was led by an alda liliongozwa na wazee but we have understood the wrong word of alda lakini tumeelewa vibaya kazi ya mzee we did misinterpretation and taught people differently tume 
Tafsiri but if you go in the original language Allah means father Abba manake ni baba They were fathers over the first church. Now listen what the Apostle Paul says. He says, in, in Galatians chapter 4 verse 19, do you know how I feel right now? And we will feel, and we, and we will feel until Christ lives becomes visible in your life. Mpaka pale upendo wa Kristo utakapokuwa halisi maishani mwako. It as if he was going through birth pains. Ni kama vile alikuwa akipitia wakati wa utu. Anawaambia, be formed and more let let Christ be formed and molded in you. Na Kristo aumbike ndani mwenu. Hello. Hello. If that happens If that happens, kama hilo likitokea, you know what? Unajua nini? If that happens in your life, kama hilo likitokea maisha yako, you don't even need the overnight prayer. Huhitaji hata mkesha. Just live the life. Just live the life. Wewe unaishi tu maisha. Start living the life. Anza kuishi yale maisha. Start releasing his presence in your life. Anza kuachilia uwepo wake maishani mwako. By loving people. Kwa kuwapenda watu. Appreciating people. Kwa kuwashukuru watu. Helping people. Kusaidia watu. Hello? Hello? What a challenge. Ni changamoto ilioje? I'm not going to give you each 50 tracks and you must go home to home visit. No, no. Sio kwamba nitampa kila mmoja wenu vipeperushi 50 alafu The best loudspeaker. Na kuwa na loudspeaker kubwa loud, bora. What what sounds the best? Ile ambayo inatoa sauti bora is your life. Ni maisha yako yako. When I opened the Bible this morning. Nilipofungua Biblia asubuhi ya leo. God spoke to me. Kama vile ambavyo Mungu amezungumza nami. Don't worry. He says If you return to me. Akasema kama utarejea kwangu. Even if you are in the church. Hata ukiwa pale kanisani. Even if you are members. Hata kama kuna washiriki. You know where is your spiritual life. Unajua maisha yako ya kiroho yako wapi? Maybe it's far from how it should be. Labda yako mbali na vile unavyopaswa. But God says this morning to you. Lakini Mungu anasema If you return to me. Kama utarejea kwangu. I will restore you so you can continue to serve me. Nitakurejesha ili uendelee kunitumikia. If you speak words that are worthy. Ukiongea maneno yenye kustahili. If you speak words that are worthy. Ukizungumza maneno yenye kustahili. If you speak words that are worthy. Ukiongea maneno yenye kustahiki. You will be my spokesman. Utakuwa wewe ndiye mnenaji wangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are to influence them. Lazima uweze kuhamisha yale yale yako. We are here to influence people. Lazima tuwashawishi watu. Not by words. Sio kwa maneno. By living. Lakini kwa kuishi. And doing. Na kwa kufanya. That's a challenge. Hiyo ndio changamoto. That's a challenge. Hiyo ndio changamoto. Christ needs to be formed. Kristo lazima aumbike. Can I You know I have 5 minutes left. Nina dakika tano zimebaki. I want to give you a slogan Miles Monroe always uses. Nataka niwape usemi ambapo ambao Miles Monroe mara zote huwa anautumia. He says. Anasema. Listen carefully. Sikiliza. God's original purpose uh, madhumuni ya kwanza ya Mungu and intent was to rule the scene na nia yake ilikuwa ni kutawala yanayoonekana which can be seen ambayo yanaweza kuonekana kwa macho from the unseen kutoka katika yale yasiyoonekana through the unseen kupitia yasiyoonekana living in the scene on the scene yanayoishi katika yanayoonekana kwenye eneo la wazi linaloonekana You know what that says? Unajua anasema nani huyo? You see if the Christ is in me. Anasema kama Kristo yuko ndani yangu, yuko ndani yangu. People cannot see God. Watu hawawezi kumuona Mungu. People in the street who do not know God. 
Watu wa mtaani hawezi kumuona Mungu. So when you walk in the street. Wewe unapotembea mtaani. When you are at shop right. Unapokuwa pale shop right. When you are in the market. Au unapokuwa sokoni. Which cannot be seen by people. Kwa yale ambayo hayawezi kuonekana na watu. Which is unseen by people. Hayaonekani na watu. You make it seen. You make it visible wherever you are. Wewe unalifanya hilo lionekane popote ulipo. Wow. Wow. That's the challenge. Hilo ndio kanisa. That's the challenge. Hilo ndio kanisa. That's also evangelism. Na huwa pia ndio uinjilisti. Evangelism is not just preaching on the corner of the street. Uinjilisti sio tu kuhubiri mtaani. Evangelism is not having a crusade. Wala sio kuona mikutano ya nje. It has proven. 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 It does not work. Kwamba hiyo mitindo hiyo haisaidia haifanyi kazi. Let us be honest brothers and sisters. Every year you have got 20 to 20 to 30 crusades in Arusha. Kila mwaka una mikutano ya nje 20 mpaka 30 Arusha. Hello. Hello. Many crusades. Mikutano mingi. Sawa? Nobody saying anything. How is that possible? Amna mtu yote anasema chochote. Hao hamna hiyo mikutano. What did they do to Arusha? Wanafanyaje hapa Arusha? Funga mdomo. I can prove it to you. Naweza kuithibitisha kwako hiyo. I can prove it. But you know what works? Lakini unajua kinachofanya kazi. And this family. Katika familia hii starts operating as a family. Tukianza kuishi kama familia. Start living the Christ. Tukianza kumuishi kama Kristo kutoka ndani katoke nje. God's purpose was to establish relationships, not a religion. Madhumuni ya Mungu ilikuwa ni kuanzisha mahusiano na sio dini. Hello. Hello. Okay, now I'm going really to close. Sasa sasa nafunga kweli. Namaliza kweli. We have to migrate. Lazima tuhame. We have to migrate. Lazima tuhame. From where we are, kutoka pale tulipo to where God wants you. Twende kule ambako Mungu anataka tuwe. Hello. Hello. That is why. Ndio maana. Maybe the pastor has. Labda mchungaji if he has not. I want him to preach about the four pillars. Labda mchungaji ameshahubiri lakini kama kama hajaubiri According the book of the Tiro the Apostolo Acts chapter 2 verse 42. Nataka ahubiri kufuatana na kitabu cha Matendo ya Mitume sura ya pili mstari wa 42 zile nguzo 4. Number 1. They were continually devoting themselves to the apostles. Walijitoa bila kukoma kwa mitume. To the apostles teaching kwa mafundisho ya mitume to the fellowship kwenye ushirika to the breaking of bread na katika kuumega mkate to prayer na maombi you know the early church you know the early church. unajua kanisa la kwanza they did not have a bible hawakuwa na biblia hello hello really sawa ndio they did not have a bible hawakuwa na biblia they sat at the feet walikaa miguuni of the man of god kwa watu wa Mungu they wanted to know walitaka kujua they wanted to learn walitaka kujifunza hello hello they started growing wakaanza kukua and when you start growing na unapoanza kukua you start growing towards one another unaanza kukua kwa kila mmoja wenu fellowship na kuwa na ushirika we don't have enough fellowship pasipo kuwa na ushirika and when you have fellowship unapokuwa na ushirika you see here's the key Many people study. Watu wengi Many people have a lot of knowledge. Watu wengi wana maarifa mengi. And that's good. Na hiyo ni nzuri. But the key is not knowledge. Lakini ufunguo sio maarifa. What is important is applying the knowledge. Cha muhimu ni kuitumia yale maarifa. Start studying the word of God, brothers. Anza kujifunza neno la Mungu. Sons of God. 
Get back to the word of God. Don't read some of these thick Bibles what they have been written at the bottom. Start only reading the word and let the spirit for you. Let the spirit tell you what it is saying. You want to hear God speaking again. You want to get deep into the word of God. Have fellowship. First with the family and reach out to people. Number three, break bread, break bread. Hello! Connect to the table of grace. Number four, prayer. You know what is happening and you must forgive me. Please forgive me when I say something. Many people pray. They pray. They pray. Pray. Many times they don't even know what they are saying. But you know what? The prayer doesn't work. Because number one is not there. Stop the prayer. Start Anza reading the word. Start maturing the word. Anza because if you know the word, and if you study the word, you can pray. Kuomba. If you have fellowship, kama if you have share and break bread, na kama mna mkate, mna then mkate you can pray. Finally, Hatimai. I'm finished. But listen to this. If you do have a translation which is called a message which is called a message the message Bible you must read Matthew 5 verse 13 14 15 16 and 17 it says let me tell you why you are here Ngoja niwaambie kwa nini mko hapa. You are here to be a salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors in this world. Mko hapa kuwa chumvi itakayoleta ladha ya Mungu katika ulimwengu huu. Do you hear that one? Umesikia hiyo tafsiri? It's you are here because you need to be salt so that you can bring the salt seasoning, God's flavors to this world. Ni kama mko hapa kwa sababu mnahitaji kuwa chumvi ili muweze kuleta ile ladha ya chumvi katika ulimwengu huu. You are here. Mko hapa to be light. Kufanyika nuru. Bringing out the God colors in this world. Ili kuleta rangi za Mungu katika ulimwengu huu. And then I want to close. Alafu nataka kufunga. With a scripture which is on your brochure which is on this arise shine let your light shine for all the nations to see for the glory of God for the Lord is shining upon you God bless you Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus.